I made a mushroom pets add-on for the bedrock marketplace in a week. And here's how I did it. The twist of this map is these mushroom pets you see aren't just pets. You can bone meal them into houses. Here is a step-by-step -step process which ended up taking only seven days. Firstly, I pitched my idea to the team and received the go-ahead. This is going to be our first add-on release on the marketplace. So I wanted to make sure we get it done as fast as possible with the best quality. The map idea is different cute mushroom pets that spawn in different biomes that when bone mealed become houses filled with loot. Not only providing shelter, but also a cute friend for your world. I start with the research process, reading articles on all the different coloured and shaped mushrooms out there, trying to find the most interesting ones to replicate into models. I list every one I like by name and with a photo, and colour code green and red for the ones I'm sure and not sure about. I settle on having 12 mushroom friends for this map, which means I can model, texture and animate within the time frame. Before I continue, what even is Bedrock Marketplace? There are two main types of Minecraft. Java is for PC players only, whereas Bedrock is for phone, Xbox, Switch, PlayStation, and more. The Bedrock Marketplace is like mods, but for Bedrock, that people will make and you can pay for with Minecoins. It's primarily a younger audience. That's something we always have to consider and think about. There's Minecraft skin packs, maps with builds to play on, spawns to use, like this one, like this is the one I made, and now add-ons which means you can add multiple add-on packs in one world, which I honestly think is the coolest thing ever. I start modeling from my references. I want them as cute as possible, so I aim to make them quite small with big hats. I then get to work on the textures for each one, once I'm happy with the shapes. Here's each model and what mushroom they were inspired by. I get to work on animating too, and make a walking animation and an idle animation for each. This is what they look like. I use the mushroom designs I created as a reference for each house design. I try to match the colour palette, shape, and the real mushroom references too. It is about finding a balance between all of them. I try to make the process as quick as possible with as much detail necessary. Make each one unique and super, super special for the audience who will be buying it. Next is testing. Luckily, I can bring them in game by myself thanks to the dev team just to check the animations work as well as the textures. They all look so cute! I'm super, super happy with them. I then hand over all the files to our developers and they help my idea come to life. This is what they look like now in game. We ended up discussing the map and felt that the mushrooms were lacking some depth as a concept and pet elements, as that's what we were considering pushing for marketing. There's some things they added which were so cool and special. I also worry about the houses not being rotated, so me and the devs devise a plan to make this happen. This is a little complex, so I'll speed you through it. I first fill the houses with a random block, then select the whole area and replace the air with void blocks. I remove the block from inside the houses and place a schematic block down instead making sure that the whole house is selected in the little preview and then save it. As you want the ability to rotate, I have four rotations of each house. So that means there's 48 schematics made. I also needed a new setting animation for each model so that you can rotate them in the ground to pick the selected rotation before growing it. Here's the style I picked for each. To go above and beyond, I wanted the player to be driven to collect all the mushrooms, so I decided to create 12 plushy assets that you receive when bone mailing each mushroom. I make a cute little chair and move the arms and legs so they look all comfy. I also make little hats inspired by the mushrooms too that you can wear with your friends. I struggled working out the positioning for these, but I found a way with some help from a modeler from our team. Now it's time to test again. I get some friends on to help and we search far and wide for all the mushrooms we can and turn them all into houses. We listed down any changes that needed to be made, any bug fixes, and handed it all over to the developers. Once all the changes are done, it's time to make the marketing. For this project, a different member of the team did the screenshots and the panorama needed for the page, and we had help with the key art too. The marketing is a really important part, showcasing all the cool elements so that people know what they get and consider buying. 
I did, however, do the trailer, and this is how it went. Are you tired of exploring the same old plains alone? Wouldn't some extra company bring back the joys of exploring? Well, all of this is possible with Mushrooms Pets Plus. Explore and discover 12 adorable mushroom pets that morph into awesome bases, feed you when you're hungry, protect you from those pesky mobs, light up your world like never before, collect them all, decorate your world with plushies, sit and laugh with their adorable hats, they're waiting for you. Bring your world to life. I've been waiting patiently for it to pass the review process. And it's finally out. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoy it, the link's below. Consider rating it five stars too if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and coming on my journey with me.